no thanks for Thanksgiving. Every November, when Thanksgiving is scheduled, I think of the people of the First Nations, so-called Native Americans, and wonder about their mixed feelings for a holiday that celebrates their enormous generosity as well as their near total destruction. What do they have to be thankful of? U.S. President Abraham Lincoln declared the first such holiday in 1863, and American popular culture has tied it to a meal between Aboriginal people and Europeans upon arrival on this continent. In fact, when the Spanish reached South America and the English reached North America, they soon embarked on dual extermination campaigns which led to holocausts of Indian nations, both North and South. Their arrival spelled the doom of hundreds of millions of people, hunted, starved, enslaved, diseased. To them, hell had a white face. They made treaty after treaty with the Indians, but the pale faces broke every one. For the conquistadors, native people served as enslaved workers who worked themselves to death to mine silver and gold. To the Anglos, they were superfluous. It was Indian land they hungered for, and they got it by hook or crook. Caught between these two great ravenous forces, there was little they could do but fight. But Europe flooded the Americas with immigrants, and sheer numbers told the tale of woe. When first they arrived, European settlements were places of disease, hunger, and pitiless death. First Nations folk fed, taught them planting, and healed them with herbal treatments. The colonists repaid them with unremitting war, smallpox used as biological weapons, land theft, and slaughter. Thanksgiving may be a holiday, but it damn sure ain't a holy day. It should be a day to be remembered in remembrance of the First Nations that peopled this land for tens of thousands of years. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.